Hi, welcome back to the CNT Auctioneers YouTube channel. Today I'm just going to discuss a question that we get asked a lot, and that is, how do we consign to CNT Auctioneers? Well, there's three steps really you can do. Uh, one is you can come down to our office here in Carnarvonshire near Ashford. Two, you can contact us on we can, make home visits, depending on what items you have. Or three, you can do on this scenario what this customer has done today, and it's send it into us directly. Now, this is quite exciting today because I do not know what is in this box at all. So this is the first time it's being opened here and you guys can see at the same time that I'm going to see it. Right, let's have a look at what's in the box then. Oh, nice, okay. So the first thing we have here is a nice First World War German bread bag. Uh, looks in pretty good condition, bit of wear, but it's still a nice original example. Oh, that's nice, nicely inked, uh, depot marked there, very nice, nice to see, a lot of collectors like to see that. With the original strap it looks, so that's a, that's a good piece there. Oh look, we've got another one now, another German First World War bread bag here, let's have a look at this one, it's got any markings, not that I can see, but it's still a very nice, oh a nice stamp on there, look at the maker stamp, that's very nice to see, not often do you see those on these items, so no, again that's a very nice example. What do we have now? Oh, that's nice. A good Wurttemberg other ranks belt and buckle here. Nice, good uh, brass and nickel buckle. Um, oh, that's unusual. Well, having a nice maker stamp on the back there. Um, let's have a look see if there's any regimental markings on this. Oh, there's some markings there. Looks like it's regimentally marked and dated 1908. So again, that's very nice to see. You don't see that very often. That's generally a very good piece, that. Nice, nice item. So I'm gonna continue rummaging in the box. Oh, nice officer's belt here. A good combat example here with the brown leather belt. Um, that's a good, combat ones aren't as easy to find as the dress one. So um, nice, nice officer's belt there. What do we have here? Oh, we have a British now. This is a British item. This is a 1916 dated compass. Uh, as you can see, nicely marked here to the Royal Engineers. Let's just open it up quickly. And yeah, here we have, we've got the brass compass there. Again, a nice example, uh, looks like a a uh, nice name on there, is a compass dated at all? Uh, not that I can see quickly, but uh, named on there, but it's obviously covering where the date normally is, so I'll put that back in the, in the box. Getting used with the Sam Brown equipment, that. So, what else have we got in here? A few more, looks like First World War German items. A little box here of stuff, let's have a look what's in here. So we've got Oh, First World War German enamel drinking cup. And again, you can see here the markings on the bottom. Nice used in the trenches. A couple of uh, Imperial German shoulder straps, other ranks and an officer's one. Again, very nice. Oh, here's some ephemera types, First World War. Oh, that's nice with the German machine gun unit. You can see that will pose them with their machine gun there, MG08. And again, some other patriotic Imperial German cards. I mean, these were very popular items done during World War I for uh, patriotism. Uh, the British did it as well, same as the French and the Germans. So again, very nice to see. And you know, here we have world famous Iron Cross. This is the second class example for the Imperial German soldiers. Okay, so what's in this leather pouch then? Let's have a look. Oh, okay. So what we've got is a, uh, probably for an officer, um, a uh, pocket watch here but in a nice uh, nickel silver plated outer case. Obviously this is what he probably took to the front lines in the trenches. Oh and now on the back, nice uh, commemorative 1914 uh, motto, obviously given to him by probably a family member for him to have on the front lines in the trenches of uh, World War I. Let's put that back. Oh, here we have some World War I German identity discs. Uh, a mixture of on in there. I can see the first one is for a, uh, a Bayern regiment, the Bavarian regiment there. Um, we'll have a look at some of those a bit later. Something what's in there. So carry on looking what's in the box, in the deep sections of the box. Okay, this is a slightly different. This is a trench uh, tent uh, peg pole case, but it's only half of one, which is a bit interesting, a bit different. Um, two. Oh, they're drumsticks. What an interesting piece. I believe them to be made into drumsticks and used possibly maybe after the war this 
Um, but they've utilised the material, so they've uh, utilised the original trench peg bag, and they've made drumsticks from the trench, uh, uh, the tent pegs. So um, that's a bit different. What else do we have here? Let's open this up. Looks like a canteen. Yep. There we have First World War again, German uh, canteen here. And again, nicely dated 1917 here on the rib cord uh, covering uh, with the original leather strap and the little belt hook. Again, very nice example that. And looks like we have another type of canteen here. Ooh, just want a bit more, a bit more area of the strap there. So yeah, again, another canteen here. Uh, as you can probably see here, nice uh, light blue enamel on the canteen, and this is with like a felt, almost like a felt type covering uh, on the on the canteen itself. But again, original leather strap and the original cook. Uh, again, real nice untouched item that, very good. If we look at what the last item here is in the box. Oh wow, this is great. Look at this. This is an original MG08 water can. But what makes this even more special is it's still got a lot of the original camouflage paint finish. Wow, that is a really, really nice item. These do not turn up that often anymore, um, especially not with the camouflage paint. That is a really, really choice item. That will do well at when it sells at auction. So wow, I mean, that's a good little selection of um, World War I German items. Uh, all these will be coming up in our auction on the 4th of February, uh, 2020. Uh, for more information about that sale, please do uh, keep following us on social media or look on our website. Uh, if you have items that you're looking to consign uh, for that auction, then please do get in contact. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for watching today's video. If you've liked it, please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information about what's happening at CT Auctioneers and Valuers. Thank you for watching.